We back, baby. It is it's I. Your, it's your boy, Black Freckles, man. AKA Hype. I'm here, too. Your boy, Rebel. And this is indeed The, the Raw Hype. Back for another week of that thing. Dang. We had the remote control, man. I was wondering if you was going to say it. Because I'm like, the yeah, last man. time we said, you said, no, I don't say it. And now, no, so I was just waiting on your lead, leader. Yeah, man, we had the remote control, man. Even though I was in the city, but I was in the city for, for foolish reasons. But <laughs> 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 we won't get into that, man. But, People uh, like to bother me, man. Becoming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> I truly don't understand why. People like to bother me. I feel like I'm the most peaceful person of all time, bro. Like you I don't be. bother nobody, bro. Like. I don't know what it is, bro. People like to bother me, and I, I'm not a fan of it. And the people that bother me are always the ones who claim they give a fuck about me. I think it's like, like, because that's the world right now, yo. The world is all about arguing, uh, 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 you know, what's the term I'm looking for? Basically pissing people off, like stirring up the fucking bees. I don't know the term for that, but... That's what everybody's on. So it'd be simple conversations could turn into big arguments because people just be wanting to argue. And like you said, it's people who care about you that do things that make you say, do you know how to care about me? Do you? Man, I, when we first discovered that and I started saying it all the time, of saying how some people are incapable of caring about other people, man, that shit has changed my life because it's the truth, bro. Incapable, well, yo. I gave on this long rant on Snapchat the other day, and I said, there are people that love you that don't give a fuck about you. And it's because they love you as a feeling, but they don't actually do anything to give a fuck about you. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? People want, and you can want very easily with your lips. And that's what my life has, bro. And mind you, it ain't a lot of people in my life, so I don't want to say that's what my life has. But there's a few bad apples. <laughs> For real, man. There's just a few people that I'm just like, man, you don't care about people properly, man. Mm, that's the phrase right there, yo. You don't care about people properly. Speaking of caring about people properly, man, Travis Scott, man. <laughs> Rawhide <Right>, disclaimer. <laughs> We're not laughing because anything's funny. Ah, perfect example. Horribly hilarious. I've been getting that off uh, in... Because I, I said this before, I don't remember if I told you, but Urban Dictionary says in order to get your shit popping, people have to be saying it, which is rather odd. Mm -hmm. They need to know that it exists for them to be able to say it. And anyway, so uh, somebody, they posted some shit about uh, this Travis Scott shit. And of course, you know, the Internet has no problem and they waste no time making jokes. Right. And whenever there's a tragedy involved, you know, I always like to say horribly hilarious. Right. And something is horrible in nature, but hilarious in fact. Mm -hmm. That's what that's just happened. How, I said all of that. Oh. I said that's what just happened when he said, oh, okay. let's talk about Travis Scott and we laugh. No. The reason <laughs> that I laugh happened. is because people are furious with Travis Scott basically saying how he don't give a fuck about nobody, right? Now, I don't know Travis Scott. I don't care for his music. I would never have gone to Astro World in a million years if it was free and I was VIP. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone, right? I can't. I can only name one song by him. Um, highest in the room. There we go. Yeah, that's I didn't him, right? Think about it. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> How you don't know uh, Sicko Mode or some of those songs, man? But you I know, know those. I'll exactly. say the song I named is the only song I've ever heard by him that I didn't think was terrible. There we go. This okay. is a ridiculous critic, boy. But anyway, continue, man. I say that to say this, man. There is so much coverage about this that, of course, you you already know the first thing is that it annoys me, okay? Mm. But the reason that it annoys me is because this type of coverage. Like, I have seen how the whole thing is a satanic ritual and how he's connected to the Illuminati and how he's this and how he's that. And, like, man, to me, when you go over the edge on these type of things and say all this shit, to me, you're really doing a disservice to the tragedy at hand. That's when you lose me. Mm-hmm. When you, when you can have me until you lose me. And you can lose me. You That's what I say on first dates. 
<laughs> so what are you looking for in a woman? You can have me until you lose me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. No, I mean, because like, I can, I can go along for the ride of any outlandish take, any outlandish idea. Me and my lady was talking today because she was making, well, she was basically downplaying how they say like Trump's family had like time machines and shit. And Trump uh -huh. was like, and I go, hey, sadly, there's a part of me that can understand this. And it has nothing to do with him specifically. It has more to do with the fact that everything that happened around it. Trump, right. to me, should have never been president. Mm -mm. Number one. Number two. But not if the standards are what y'all saying the standards are. It says to me something happened. A glitch happened somewhere. Mm -hmm. Kobe died. Nigga, Bill Cosby was raping. I, I found out that Bill Cosby was out of jail today. I literally did not know that. Yeah, he was. He'd been out for a while. I remember we were supposed to talk about it, and he was like, man, I don't care to talk about Bill Cosby. That's probably why I don't remember. <laughs> but no, like, Bill Cosby was America's dad, and he's raping. Kobe died. Who was like, of all the people that I think shouldn't that, die, there was a global pandemic. I was just about to get to that. The world shut down. Nigga, new animals came that hadn't been seen in hundreds UFOs. of years. UFOs. You, oh, the government finally said, all right, man, we do have good hype. So when all of this is happening, I could find something in me to say, well, of course Trump and his family might of have course. gotten a fucking <laughs> time machine and changed the space-time <laughs> continuum. <laughs> me, you, and your shorty was talking about this today, though. We have so much information now that you truly don't know what to believe. Like, this is how the internet so fucked up, okay? When I found out today that Bill Cosby got out of jail, for no reason, just because I know I can find it, it made me say, well, shit, I wonder when Big Meat should get out. <laughs> <laughs> so I now know that Big Meat should get out of 2028. Damn, I, know I thought they were going to out this year or next year, they were saying. Yeah, the way that people are getting out of jail now, he, he's, he was due to get out in 2028. Gotcha. But no, I say all that. But to that's say, the internet. So much information. Yes, man. you can take me on different rides, and I'm willing to go with you. But when you get there, oh, it's the demonic symbolization. Right. Well, I seen a video today that said it was like it had eight uh -huh. fire flames for the eight victims, and I'm like, well, it's been updated to eleven now. So what's the explanation? <laughs> so how, now? how does this go, Devil Video Guy? Do you go and edit it? And, oh, my, but my lady said she's like, nah. They ain't going to care. They're just going to go off the fact that the initial report no doubt. was eight. No doubt. That's no all doubt. they need. No doubt. That's the, that's the shit I be talking about, man. And that's how you lose me. You that's how you lose me. me. That's how they lose <laughs> you And you know I watch any video about Kobe. I done heard so many times about how the elites kill Kobe and this and that. And none of them ring with me, man. Because, <laughs> none of them man, make me say, oh, I can see that. None of them ring with me, man. Why is... It's the same with, like, sadly, with the black people. Anytime you have a black successful person, it's Illuminati and shit. It's like, why does everything... Uh, why they don't never say that about a white guy or something? No, I've nobody, never heard I know, white I, people... I don't hear it either. Uh, uh, Chris, Chris Evans, I think is his name. The nigga who played Captain America. He also played uh, the Mr... Uh, damn, what was his name? The flame guy from Fantastic Four. Oh, right, right, did right, I, right. Did I just call him... Well, Captain America, I don't know if that's what I said, but Chris Evans of Captain yeah, America did. also plays the fire guy from Fantastic Four. I run a podcast about comics, and I just said the fire guy. Like, how do I not know Mr. Fantastic? I still don't know as I'm racking my brain. You don't anyway, give a damn, man. Why, do, why, is it, why isn't it any reports that he just sacrificed two dogs and a poodle and a grandma so he can become Captain America? But I... I don't know. Oh, let me tell you about what I heard recently. On... I heard recently that um, uh, that Kodak Black is a clone, and he's really Hobson. <laughs> I swear to God, nigga had a video really explaining how Hobson is now Kodak Black. See what I'm saying, man? Because I was just about to say that ain't new. Because they've been saying he was a clone. You just added the new spin with yeah, Hobson. Now he like, Hobson. Oh, they, they updated it. Yeah, that's the eleven victims instead of eight. And honestly, they updated they shit. And it's the kind of shit that make me say I don't believe y'all at all. But I at least have enough sense to know that y'all could be right. <laughs> y'all could be right. I just don't believe y'all, man. And it's the internet that gives me the that allows me to give you that. 
Because but that me, was my that's friend. literally my only issue with the Travis Scott thing is that the news that we have is the same news as everybody else. A lot of people went crazy. People got hurt. People died. The shit is out of hand. He put out an apology. He gave everybody a refund. They canceled the next show. All this shit, right? But I viewed it from that standpoint. Is that I'm hearing about how demonic it was more than anything else. And I'm not saying that it wasn't because, again, I don't follow this guy. I don't know nothing about. And also, I'd be thinking, since I don't worship celebrities, that's probably why I don't believe this shit. And it's because I don't know none of y'all. Like I said, you see my Kobe shit behind me. I don't. I wasn't following this nigga on Instagram or Twitter or nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I do not care about what Kobe Bryant was doing in his life after basketball. I just wanted him to be alive. But I want all y'all to be alive. I don't got to follow you for that. So it's like, I don't worship celebrities. So that's probably why I don't believe it, because this shit is too far-fetched for me. It's like, huh? Like, they're talking about the frequencies for the whole thing was off. And I'm like, I can even believe shit like that. I believe shit with, like, frequencies and pictures mm-hmm. and sounds and all that kind of shit. But when you say, like, he's sacrificing people and the show kept going, he's seen people dying, and he was just up there like... Going ham, still going on the mic. I was gonna sing one of his songs, but I don't know none of them. But you don't know it. But (laughs) (laughs) But, my biggest thing for that, really, though, is I just my question would be: What did Travis himself do? Because he's getting all the backlash of they need to cancel him. He ain't shit. I can't believe. Yeah, I like seeing some old videos where he was telling people to like rage out, and like there was another one where people like broke through, and he was like security guard. He was for security. He's like, no, let him through, let him through, let him through. To that me, that feel like this. he was just being cool. You know what I'm but saying? That wasn't but that this. wasn't this. So, so basically, what they're saying is that his behavior incited this kind of, um, like, you know, whatever. But honestly, I'm fine with that. If you tell your friends, hey, we rage out, we break the barrier, we have a good time, we don't give a fuck. And then they do that and everybody say, hey, man, you can't be telling your fans to do this kind of shit. I completely get that. That doesn't make him liable in my book. But I understand that mentality. But that's Absolutely. completely different from he's this doing time. a satanic ritual and he <laughs> had control of people. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, no, I mean, but, it's the same thing like I used to say with Trump. Uh, Trump say shit to make people act a certain way and act crazy, but motherfuckers are responsible for their own actions, bro. Absolutely. So, to add on top of that, like I said, I don't understand why Travis is getting the blame for what happened in the crowd with other yeah, like, people. He's essentially canceled. That's what I'm saying. He had to give back all the money from the show. He's like, hey, what the fuck? I just performed the songs. Shit, they were showing, I saw a clip that he stopped the music and was like, hey, somebody passed out there. Get him some help. Right. Get him some help. Hey, security, come on. Get him some help. Because uh, somebody said to me, well, he saw, he should have been, he, he should have saw that people were dying and shit or something was happening and stopped the shit. And then they had a video where some girl tried to get on stage and they're like, see, they were trying to get on stage to tell him. I was like, man, how much people you think are trying to get on stage on a fucking right. festival while somebody's performing? Right. And then the one video they sent me, she was talking to the cameraman. I said, he don't know shit about what's going on. No, Oh, he I don't, agree. Oh, let me get a wide shot. Pull back, pull back. Okay, get the face. Zoom in. That's his conversation. He don't yep. know what song coming back. He don't I know agree. shit. So why are you running to him for help? I say all that to ask. It's a it's an extension of this cancel culture shit, man. It's like we need to blame someone because something happened. Who we, but then they, they want to the blame biggest, somebody that everybody know though. That's what, that's what like, whoever is the good. biggest face, they yes. have to take the blame. No doubt. No doubt. So, I got to turn my same, Xbox off. Do you think? It's the same way why you bringing up shit he did at his old concerts to essentially blame him for what happened today. Right. But the again, if the blaming... Clown, posse shows and shit. Right. The nigga still exactly. riding around touring. If, it's the, if that's the blaming, I'm cool with it. Like, your shows are too wild, and now look what happened. I'm cool with that. But that's not like, oh, I'm gonna, I should be arrested, or that's I'm responsible for that, this. That is, that is you telling somebody, <laughs> hey, this can happen when you do that or promote that, so please don't do that anymore. No, not yeah. It, because like, you did it in the past, I'm going to lock you up today and take all your money from the show today because of what you did five years ago. But to me, that falls in the same line of if somebody do something because they listen to your music. Like, you have a moral responsibility, but that's it. And a moral responsibility is not real. You know <laughs> exactly. what I'm saying? That's it's not a real thing. That's an opinion. <laughs> exactly. 
that's an opinion. You know what I'm saying? Please don't I can make say, a song called Cop Killer. <laughs> right. Hey, if that's somebody morally decides incorrect. to go do that, that's on them. You can't right. be right. But again, mind. making a song called Cop Killer is morally incorrect. But if I'm like Malcolm X mentality and I feel like cops are killing black people, then to us it's morally correct. Mm. You feel what I'm mm. saying? Morals are an opinion. So morally, I think he would be wrong for having that kind of crowd and knowing it's that kind of crowd and telling them to turn up and don't give a fuck and break shit down. He's morally cor- uh, incorrect on that. But I understand that that's just my opinion. Anything that's outside a of rock that, and roll genre, people, though. Exactly. People are responsible for their own actions. But when you make a lane for it, it's called moshing and shit. They got that from the of white rock bands. So it's a lane for it. So I'm just representing that lane since nobody else has been representing the lane. Why is Aerosmith and them not getting fucking arrested with niggas smash fucking guitars and shit over people's heads and shit? Why well, is Michael Jackson getting like, uh, arrested because somebody passed out because they love him? Like how the baby and shit. It was like he gets in trouble for saying homophobic shit, but he can rap about killing niggas all day. All day. <coughs> Which is more morally incorrect. <laughs> but it's not that it goes back to this cancel this cancel culture shit bleeds into everything so that's why some people are saying the cancel culture shit is slowing up I think it's like fucking morphing it, it, it's moving away from being this one isolated thing and weaving itself into all the other shit cause I like agree. don't tell uh, Travis being cancelled is cancel culture and oh so for be- sure but not just Cancel because it's cancel. I don't want it to sound as simplistic as it just did. But I mean, because of how we have been preparing people and dealing with people with this cancellation shit to where anything goes wrong, the repercussion is cancel that motherfucker, take his money and take his job. Now you have an incident where people died at a show and Drake's getting sued. It's like, what the fuck? (laughs) I came out, I did sickle mode, I did I'm too sexy, and I dipped. People wild out. Oh, man. Isn't it more so the venue's responsibility for how much tickets and how much people they allow? Uh, I've seen people talking about the venue. They was like, they didn't ask for no clear bag. They didn't check what we had. They said there was a motherfucker literally in the crowd injecting people with drugs. With drugs? How, yeah, how is this Travis Scott's there? fault? How is oh, I seen like a five-year-old there. What? what? And my whole thing is like, dog, is no. we in the middle, of, we're in the middle of a global pandemic, bro. Like, if you go out in these conditions, who else is there to blame? And I'm not saying these people are responsible for their own death. I'm saying that when you go to places like this, shit happens. If you go to a NASCAR race and a tire fly off the car, go through the fucking shit and knock your ass out, who's to blame here? Is it the NASCAR tire that didn't stay on the car? Or the person who came into the venue knowing that, hey, these cars be flipping and blowing up and shit. I hope I don't get hit with a tire or nothing. And it's like the cancel culture shit is removing responsibility from actions. I I feel like it's removing empathy. Because it's like, the, I'm, here to, I'm, here to, I'm here to fight. Yeah, okay. I'm here to fight your fight instead of give a fuck about what happened to you. I'm here but, to use what you said to to fight a fight. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Is. It's like, yeah, you died. I'm about to use that to show everybody how Travis Scott is a piece of shit. And I'm just like, that so doesn't say, seem it, right. It doesn't seem helpful. It doesn't no. seem productive. It doesn't but seem more. Cancel culture is also unfair because then you have people like Lil Boosie and Dave Chappelle that can't get canceled because they don't work for nobody. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't work for nobody. So they, uh, oh, it's not real. It's what they do is they put pressure on the big company to yeah. not fuck with you no more. But when you like Boosie or Dave Chappelle, you don't work for nobody. There is no big company to say fuck you. Like, in Dave Chappelle's case, he doesn't work with for Netflix. He had a partnership with Netflix. Mm-hmm. They asked him to do something. He did it, and they paid him. So mm-hmm. now I have to pay him for no reason and take an L on this money to listen to y'all. They're not finna do that. You know what I'm saying? People cancel, like a big company cancel people because that person is costing them money. Mm-hmm. Dave Chappelle, the only way that he can cost Netflix money is if they don't get you to watch what they pay him to do. A big company is only going to do whatever going to cost them the most money. 
They don't give a fuck about none of that. They don't give a fuck about Black Lives Matter. They don't give a fuck about LGBTQ. They don't give a fuck about nothing. They take the path of what's going to cost us the most money. Oh, putting the baby on stage is going to cost us money? Well, fuck the baby. <laughs> Baby, y'all say. Right, you feel me to say it? So it's like, you know, that kind of shit. I don't like it. But speaking of the baby, apparently now the LBGTQ gave whoever permission. So now little baby, I mean the baby, all these fucking babies, nigga. Uh, so the baby, the baby, can now go back out and perform. Because remember, he was canceled and he couldn't perform. Right. Now apparently the CEO of the LBGT community, oh, Council, whatever the fuck it is, now gave CEO. him the okay. It is the CEO. It's called. She's. The, it's a lady. I don't even know if it's a lady, lady, or identifying well, as a lady, or uh, I don't know. Go. But <laughs> this is my point. Is like the CEO of that establishment. I don't even know if it's an establishment. Someone so affiliated with them that, as far a as I know, is important. <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> But not only that, like they gave him the okay, and if you look, he's now now promoting a tour that's coming up. So one, but honestly, they gave in because the baby was too famous to cancel. If you too they famous, you can't be job, like though. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart too famous to cancel. But they were doing a good job because he wasn't able to perform places, nigga. It he, don't matter. Fifty Cent he brought him out. Fifty Cent brought him out at the last festival that just happened like a week or so ago. That festival was being live streamed. When People the baby booing. came out, they cut the stream off, nigga. Wow. <laughs> they cut it off. So that's what I mean when they said they were trying that. But hard. I bet like, the oh, people that was the there streets. was cheering for him. Of course. That's because, what I mean. Because it's not real. People don't want... Boosie people said it all the time. He's like, in person, I don't be having no problem with no gay people in person. He was like, it's only on the internet where people hate me. Even though apparently I saw a video that looked a little stage where some gay dude that sounded like he was from say. New Orleans, that he was going to whoop Boosie's head. <laughs> Man, I, we keep getting on this kind of culture shit because it just won't go away. But now I realize why it won't go away is because it's trying to weave itself into people's regular thinking. So now it's, it's like somebody died at a Travis Scott show, so Travis Scott needs to be canceled. Why? This because is why cancel culture exists, works. bro. This is why cancel culture exists. There were so many racist things that happened in America that people, mainly black people, but other people, started saying, hey, it's time to eradicate some of this shit. It's time to change some laws. It's time to stop treating people this way. It's time to start staking down some statues. It's time to start doing this. And then other people were like, well, no, nah, we got shit that's important what too. What about us? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what that's about exactly us? exactly what happened, bro. So everybody's like, all right, whatever I don't like. Oh, because that's how they look at when black people talk about racism. They look at it as just something that we don't like. Just something we, something we complaining about. <laughs> well, shit, I want my shit that I complain about. Yep. If somebody well, my people had joke. to go through stuff. Well, my people had to go through stuff. Well, gay people had to go through stuff. Well, transgenders had to go through stuff. Well, people that's from this state had to go through stuff. And then that was the snowball effect that started cancel culture. Shit, and after, after COVID and shit, the Asians now, they're like, yeah, hey, people are, you know, they have Asian, stop Asian hate because apparently after that is when all the Asians start getting beat up and mm -hmm. harmed. By, apparently so, by black people. I didn't know this until they I didn't person. know that. I'm pretty sure that yeah. that's not what occurred. No, nah, my sister was like, no, nah, this is real. Like, Asians was getting the fuck beat out of there by black people. I was like, I've For never real? heard this. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know. That's all the information I got. I was like, what? I need to know, man. I need to know what my people out here doing. So, like, Dave Chappelle was aware of it. My sister was aware of it. I was like, why? Asians. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. But, yeah, apparently it was for real. And I don't know justify shit on some, like, crazy shit. I don't you have the an answer. Newsweek say stop blaming black people for anti-Asian hate. I don't see nothing that said nothing about black people beating up no Asians. And let you know that them getting blamed is real. It had to come from somewhere. It says black attacks on Asians, <coughs> racism or opportunity. I don't know what that even means. What it means to me is what you just said almost. Is this really happening? Is it really racism? Or is this somebody saying, well, what about me? 
Niggas been yep. whipping my ass. That's true. <laughs> for years I'm telling now. you, bro, that's how cancel culture came about. Humans can't do nothing right. And that's what I'm, I don't understand why they don't understand that this is them ruining life and ruining the world, man. This whole tit for tat bullshit. Yep. You can't solve a problem when you don't yep. think it's a problem. So then you say, well, what about my problem? No doubt. That's what They're people like, do. Hey, Black Lives Matter? What well, all lives matter? It's like, bitch, shut up. We trying to get them to yep. stop doing When you say Black Lives niggas. Matter, it's like, well, shit, what about Asians? That's how people look at it. What about white people? White people lives I would like to see... I would like, exactly, because that's what you're hearing. You're hearing, hey, give a shit about me. Well, if I give a shit about you, that means there ain't going to be no more shit to be given by yeah, me. But, but they don't <laughs> stop to say, they saying give a shit about us because we don't. Because we don't. <laughs> <laughs> we not, they don't have to say it for us because they because everybody do. Which is what I wanted to ask this. I, I, I've never watched like one of those, like, like the Colin Kaepernick show. Uh-huh. Right? I Do we ever talk about this? To, no, sir. We haven't. Oh, okay. Go on. I would have liked to watch that with, with a white, a white person. person. Because I want to ask the questions like, all right, this scene right here. Like, have, this, have you ever done this? Do you think it's bullshit? Uh, you know, it's just random questions. That, because my point is... Because if most people, that people black give people are not going to watch it how we watched it. Like... Oh. There's some black people that think the the, the 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 little limited series of Colin Kaepernick, they think it was perfectly done. Like it's yeah. like a masterpiece. And I'm like, no, it's not perfectly done because of your audience. That's why I would have liked to watch it with oh. a white person. Because there's certain stuff that a white person really not gonna grasp that they see on there, and there's certain stuff that they're only gonna take offense to. That that show to me was for white people. Yes. It wasn't And it wasn't people. done in a way for white people to be able to digest it that don't already agree with us. It was done in a pacifying way to white people. Like, hey, man, I know y'all might feel a way, but just listen. Just watch and see what I'm talking about. Like, it's it like... And they overdo the examples because it's like, I've been begging y'all to listen to me for so long that you don't, that I have to overdo the examples and simplify the examples to show you. And when you simplify it too much, it sounds like, it's like, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Almost, and not only that, it almost sounds insulting. So yes. it's like, I'm not finna learn or listen to this. He's trying to think I'm some idiot who can't see that a lady's not giving him extra ice cream. <laughs> I can see he's not giving him extra ice cream. It's because he's a nigga. Niggas don't right. need no more sugar. <laughs> <laughs> but so, what they do is they don't give him extra ice cream, and then the same lady discriminates on him like so many other times. And it's like when you make it to say a white person don't do nothing but discriminate against <laughs> black people, it makes it unbelievable. Because Even though it's true. <laughs> <laughs> no it's not even though because, it could be true yes ha, because a lot of the time they be faking so much that it's not as easy to see the racism it's more complex than I just don't give him an extra ice cream because he's black it's more complex than that oh yes it's definitely more complex they were taught something about niggas that makes yes. it to where even something no as simple as some haagen no I doubt. can't give this German they need ice to cream do this shit like a uh, they need to do shit like you, where they be thinking inside his head, like Dexter and shit, where mm. it just be him and he just be sitting there thinking, like when he asks for another ice cream, be like, man, I ain't give you another ice cream. Shit, after all the white people get another ice cream, then I give your motherfucking ass another <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> like, I'd rather you look at it like that. Like, I'm yes. willing to give you an uh, ice cream, but I'm just going to look out for my people first. Like, that's not like overly racist. They made it in a way like, I don't give niggas a damn thing. <laughs> like, to me, don't it see, don't I be. <laughs> Exactly. It don't be overly racist. It just be like, I don't trust y'all like that, and I'm gonna look out for mine first. And that to me is is taught to where it's not so deliberate. And the problem with it not being so, so deliberate is the problem. It's like I this guess. is just who you are. Like the excuses that you hear for like how uh, white privilege don't exist. And hell, I was just having a recent rep uh, a conversation about reparations. Me and my white homeboy, we talking, and then when he got down to the end, he was basically just. He essentially was like, man, fuck reparations. <laughs> like, for real, because he was like, I'm all for the people that were affected in this country getting reparations from white people that they can prove own slaves in this country, getting the, the reparations directly from them. And I was like, that's a white answer because mm -hmm. to me, how our tax dollars are used in America 
We don't know how that is. We use. don't even know. Like, you cannot have a kid and your tax dollars going to the public school system. You cannot have a car and your tax dollars are going to fixing the, the road. road. You mm. feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't say, oh, I don't want my tax dollars to go to that because that don't have nothing to do with me. My people didn't own slaves and blah, blah, blah. Mm. But it's like, you don't you don't have an issue with your tax dollars going to all this other bullshit that don't have nothing to do with you. And when mm. I say that, he says, well, I do have a problem with that. I don't want to pay taxes at all. Okay, but nigga, you but you do. <laughs> You do, and you don't have a problem that when you do, that is going to a whole bunch of shit that you don't know about. But you have a problem if it's going to niggas. niggas. I got a problem with that. Oh no, not my taxes. Which is also a simple fix. They should just give niggas a piece of the taxes money. For real, but my whole point is that's not blatant racism. That's how white people think. It's interwoven racism. It's just it's it, to me racism it's like, it's is like, like adding um, cream to your coffee. It's just to gold. me racism is like evil. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. It being like that's how you are is like ignorant. There's a difference. Be. Blatant racism to hold the motherfucker back is is evil. Yes. I don't want to pay that. I don't want my taxes going to that because my people didn't own slaves. Mm. Is ignorant. Mm, and it's okay. because you really can't I say, see. You don't even know. <laughs> exactly. You don't know enough and you don't comprehend enough of how, why a black person would feel that way or how black people are affected by uh, slavery today. Because like he was even saying, black people are not affected by slavery today. And I was like, they are. I, I said, yeah. I don't know. I don't know who I am. Not only that, nigga, even the food we glorify is old slave food. But that even from that, fuck all that. Say we got enough information. As food. But let's say we got enough information that that shouldn't affect us. All right. Let's say mm-hmm. every problem that we got, not having financial literacy. Let's say all of that, you can look it up on your phone. That's your own fault. Mm-hmm. Me not knowing who I am, there is no answer for that. That's I can only trace my family back so far. I don't know the, nothing the, the, the else. Black history in this world goes as far back as. We used to be owned by white people. Straight up. I don't know my last name. I was talking about my cousin or something and shit the other day. And that affect the motherfucker, bro. It's not even just that. It's like like you were saying earlier about the Travis Scott shit. Frequencies and drum sounds and all that shit. Like, that's cultural shit that we don't even know. Like, why do we like this beat so much? Agreed. It seems something in your soul that, hey, when that fucking 808 drop and you go, oh, shit. Get up, man. But that's we what I mean the, by the ignorance portion. If we was in the studio right now, I'd have played a beat, nigga, 808. But go ahead. <laughs> but that's the ignorance portion. They don't know what that's like. So, so they don't, but they my point like is, don't exist. if it's not evil and that's just how you are, they it's going to take something else. <laughs> it's going to take something else for you to comprehend it. And yes, but I don't think it's pacifying somebody on Netflix is no. the other way. So, you know what I'm saying? So I enjoyed that Colin Kaepernick show as much as I was able to enjoy it. I do want people to go and watch it because I'm definitely going to support it. It was um, good. I just don't like... This is my own internal show. It was so good I, as it could have been for Hollywood to do things how Hollywood do things. And that's a that's a, that's a a breakdown of me saying I enjoyed it as much as I was able to enjoy yeah. it. It's like, I know y'all have to kiss some ass a little in order to tell this story so you can't tell I don't the even story. feel that. I feel here's like they're I mean. too disconnected. But here's what I mean. I f- Again, he, you know, like he must be our black god or something, but I feel like Chappelle would have told this story or oh, Chris Rock, like them type of Better. people who are into intellect- Yes, in that kind of way. So that's what I mean Better. when I say kiss ass because it's like Y'all are not hitting these motherfuckers in the gut with certain shit. You're literally like slapping them on the hand. Like, see? And you're see giving the same did? examples. That's a bad thing. He saw You're giving the same that examples car. that niggas complain about every day. Every you day. You think I'm going to steal something? The cops pull me over for no reason. Like, white people don't believe that. Putting it in a Netflix show, not going to make them believe it. <laughs> They, they don't believe that squid shit. Games, for don't... real. And you can oh. tell that they don't believe it. Like, like when they say white privilege don't exist. Like somebody thinking I'm going to steal something in the store because I'm black, you're not having to deal with that as a privilege. It's a privilege. So you you think, no, I don't have to deal with that because, you know, I was raised mm-hmm. right. Which set, it impl- And then white implicates... people be thinking, I don't think like that. So I, saying, I don't believe is. you. Yes, because it then implicates that you wasn't raised right because somebody thinks you would do something like that. And they look at it, well, I don't do that, so I assume most people that work in JCPenney don't do that. And mm-hmm. again, that's not evil, it's ignorant. 
and it was taught, man. But how could you not be ignorant to it? You don't go through it. Mm. Mm, that's a fact. Yeah, it's kind of hard to check. So this is why we're saying they need shows like this in 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 even if it's just an attempt to try to help the situation. But at the like, same token, though, for the people that it affects and that it affected, it's almost like a slap in the face, man. It's like, hey, man, a black man get a show to talk about black people, and the first thing he goes to is telling the same black stories that we've seen over and over again. Yes. The only spin and, he initially and I gave hate is he to sound like Alan Iverson mixed. instead of fucking Martin Luther or Jordan. No, you would talk about Alan Iverson. If you're going to talk about hip-hop but culture never and sports, before. yes, they have. A lot. He has a whole what thirty I mean for thirty is, about it. Yeah. It's he. It, he's the he's the same cliche answer that you're talking about that you don't want. In that, he's the same cliche answer. But he's like the bottom version. They usually would have went to Jordan or like no, somebody no. like that is who they. Allen Iverson brought hip hop to to basketball. He's the cliche person that you would say. I promise that was the easy way out. But that, that yes. was the whole thing. The whole thing was the easy way out. His hit because I think what we're saying, what you're saying, and what I'm saying is, the, from the vantage point they were telling, music and hip hop was a part of the story they were telling. So of that's course. why they couldn't have used Jordan really. Yeah, you Even have to use Allen Iverson. Use Jordan you, shoes wise. Yeah, of course. So Allen Iverson but, would be the Jordan of of or um a Malcolm Malcolm Martin Luther King. But because you're telling the hip hop version of this story, you have to you use um Alan Iverson. But he's telling the hip hop version of it because racism was in it. You feel what I'm saying? Got you. So that's why you use him. Like th- them having to wear a suit and shit to to mm-hmm. press conference and shit. To we looked at that as racism, uh-huh. and it is. It is. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Me dressing like I'm dressed no because you think because it's associated with being a thug, a criminal, exactly. and all exactly. These That's why they use him. You have to use him. You feel what I'm saying? He's the cliche person to use. But mind you, I don't want to call it cliche really because you have to use him. He is the 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 Malcolm X and shit of that of that. Ju- that's what I, I guess. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, you it's have still, to use him. But like still, I said, I hate to sound like we didn't like it. Word, I liked it. It was very well put together as far yes. as and I hope the production. People go watch it. And, you should go watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, how they told the story, like you said, even the narration and all that. Like I like yeah. those. Me too. Creative he, he, he doesn't of it. come off as angry. He's a little condescending, but I, I, Count Kaepernick's a little condescending. You feel what but I'm saying? But he also was raised by two white people. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't like so how I, his parents I, were portrayed on there either. But I liked how his story in that aspect was portrayed on some like. Man, you in high school and you still ain't really immersed in your culture, but it's like, right. how could you? I when... loved that. Because, of course, you know, my daughter mixed. So I loved how he, like, didn't know certain shit just because, you know, he was mixed and he didn't know that shit. And I hate to say I don't like how his parents were perceived because he know how his parents was better than me. Mm-hmm. I don't like it from an entertainment standpoint or how the story was told. I would have liked to see them in a more positive light. So it's like, we're here for you, Colin. We'll do anything, 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 anything for you. But... We do not understand you at all. You know I what I'm wonder, saying? I, I wanted them to be so much more loving. Truth. Me too, I and I wonder that. The truth. Me too, I wonder that. You ain't going to have a show depicting your parents and then, you know, have them it's looking a crazy. It'll be but a no, lie. have them looking crazy. But I wonder if oh, any of those that. racial instances that pop up is like, well, Colin, I don't know. Yeah. I think niggas steal be- too, so I'm put, sorry, Colin. Put it like this. This is why I didn't like how I was depicted. Because from watching his show, I would assume he don't fuck with his parents today. You smell what I'm saying? I don't know if I Just, got that. That's the vibe I got. That's why I didn't <laughs> like it. Because I feel like he do. Because I remember his mom um, defending him and shit on the internet before. Mm. But then, so that's why that I didn't like about it. I didn't like how it made me feel. It made me feel like he didn't fuck with them. Even just something like that is also like different. Like, he, like he being adopted. You know what I'm saying? Like two people who have nothing to do with you decided to take on that role, and uh, you know, yeah, as yeah. your parent and raise you yeah, in a certain yeah. manner. Like I said, even in the show, him being white and use some of his white connections to get Colin in the position he would never yeah, get in yeah, yeah. ever. Right. So it's right. like he get a professional NFL uh, quarterback coach and shit. Uh, the so with him. is that some of what the white people lean on? And so see, see there. 
a white a white family is who helped save him from what he may oh, yeah. end up That's being. why they say like he not oppressed. That, that's what they say. And my whole point is that y'all so y'all so ignorant that you yeah. think that he's not oppressed because he rich. Yeah. Well, man, his parents are white. I think that's the two go together. Oh, of course, but the bigger <laughs> one is that he's rich. They think uh, rich people don't got no uh for sure, that's, that's how they be saying the same shit about LeBron. Like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't explain this man's racism. Oh, yeah, you're so oppressed. You get $36 million a year. <laughs> uh, speaking of, because I was just about to say, I was about to say, but I, uh, Ice Cube, son, I don't remember his name, and I apologize to that man. O'Shea? O'Shea. I was about to say, I know his name, but I, I don't know. My I know all the celebrities, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he got a new show on Apple TV called Swagger, where he's like a, a basketball coach. And, uh, you know, one of the young dudes is, you know, on his team and all kind of shit like that. So it's that type of lane. And in either the first or second episode, he's going to take out the trash and the police come run up on him, put him in cuffs and sit him on the thing. So it's like every black platform yeah, responsibility, apparently, is giving the same black yes. Yes. fights that go on mm-hmm. in the world. So my thing is, I, those things are, are that as well. I like to watch or see how a white person feels about it because it's like if every time we get a movie or a show, we use it to tell y'all how y'all be fucking us over and how fucked up we have it. Do y'all not see that it's clearly a cry for help? So when somebody yeah. is getting something in their favor and you go, nah, I don't want my taxes to be paid to niggas. Fuck that. They good. Get up, up pull up your bootstraps and get it like how I get it. Is it ever gonna change? No, bro, it's not. And it's because so why are we trying in this? I don't manner? know, man. I we doing we the wrong thing this... on this earth, bro. But you know my phrase, nigga. I know yeah. you know the phrase that pays. Oh, nigga. for sure. I don't, I don't know, know what we're supposed what to be doing. We supposed to be doing but we ain't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we not, bro. Because I say that to say, like, I feel like if 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 we're using our opportunities to try to tell white people how fucked up they've been to us and it doesn't stop them from continuing to be fucked up or even believing that anything is fucked up, shouldn't we use that energy to do something new? Yes, what we should be doing is what Malcolm X said. We should be supporting black shit. I just want to say, we need to remake more black Wall Streets to where they can't just burn that motherfucker down. I, did I send you that? No. I think I did. On oh. TikTok, it had a clip, like a three-part clip that explained... Oh, like, yeah, you what sent me happened. part three. Well, because I assumed you watched the climax, and if you wanted to see the beginning, because we kind of know how to begin. No, nah, I was just confused, <laughs> man, so I just went on about my life. But we need like, more of those. We need but more black that's what we ha- That's what we have to do, bro. We have to support, start supporting more black shit. And we need to... Like, this is something about black people, right? Mm. All right, they be saying black-on-black black crime exists, right? And the retort that people give to that is that it's not black on black crime. It's that people kill people that they live around. They live white close. people kill uh, white people, Mexican people, you know, because they all live together or whatever, right? But the mm-hmm. difference is that the number as far as black people killing each other should be zero. And the reason that it should be zero is now. because we can't afford to kill each other. Mm-hmm. These other races can afford to kill each other and still be prosperous. We cannot afford to kill each other because mm. the country goal in a lot of ways is to kill us. They say that's why Planned Parenthood exists, the food that they give us, the opportunities that they don't want to give us. It's like the hell, the police, they are here killing us in a way, in a way to where we and locking us the fuck up. To where we to can't af- Yes, bro. We have to like honestly, and I know it sounds insane. And it's that's impossible, why when you said it, I was like, "What you talk about, man?" Yeah, it has yeah. to be. That's the real solution, bro. Have you, have you met niggas, how... man? Niggas. Are... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, some niggas, niggas here. See, some niggas, I see why niggas die. But it's like that's kind of how Malcolm X was. He was like, man. It should be on some shit where if the police are harassing you and there's another black person walking down the street, y'all ball together and try to kill this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, he's right, bro. He's right because, and I agree with you too that we should stop killing because they don't realize who they're killing. Like that, that, that nigga who killed Nipsey, like that shouldn't be able to happen. Like you shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a black man that killed one of our black leaders. And it always is, bro. But Tupac, it always is Biggie, Big L, Nipsey, 
Mm. Fucking whoever, man. You could mm. go on and on. Any rapper that's been shot. Any rapper that got shot was not shot by a white person. Mm. I don't even need to know that's true to know no, that's true. That's a fact. Mo3 was not shot by a white person. Boosie was not shot by a white person. No. Mm, shit, 50 no. wasn't shot by a white 50 person. 50 was not shot by a white person. Like, I would bet any amount of money that 50 Cent was not shot by anybody but a black person. And I'm not saying that people don't have their valid reasons for doing their work in the street. I get mm. it. I really do. I'm a, I'm a firm believer of things like, hey, if you kill my brother, I'm going to kill your brother. I <laughs> get that. That makes total sense to me. Like, all jokes mm. aside. So what we have to do is not kill the first brother. You smell me? <laughs> That's, That's why what we people, have black people be saying now, we got to protect such and such. We got to protect such and for such. For real, bro. Like, for real. And I know... It's impossible, but it's really the only way. So maybe that's what we fighting for, man. Maybe we fighting for black people to get on the same page. I don't know, bro. This is my point. I think that's what we need to lean towards because begging other people to give a fuck doesn't work. When Tupac got shot in 1994, he said he couldn't believe a black person shot him. I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> That nigga is like, nigga, for all I do for niggas, my question is like, have you met niggas? For real. That nigga was like, Malcolm X was shot by some niggas. Malcolm X was killed by the FBI, though. Yeah. But he was shot by niggas. That's what I said. (laughs) I know who sent the order and the hit and where they work with, but I'm talking about who actually did it, which is my point. It's like, Black people ain't willing to die because they're like, hey, we need you to kill him. It's like, nah, I'm not going to kill my brother. All right, but we will kill you then. Well, shit, I guess I have to go. Yeah. Nobody is operating like that. Yeah. But you know why, though? Hey, Thanos was right, but he just had the wrong game plan. You can't just kill half motherfuckers because just like that, you're taking some of the good half. It need to be selected, man. And but I'm this not is the issue, bro. This, but... Th- this is the issue, all right, is that some people think that white people are the enemy, and that is not true. The, the white issue is that is the enemy. Is that the enemy is white? <laughs> <laughs> but it's the truth. Like, <laughs> ain't, I, ain't I sent me a video the other day where dude was talking about, like, doing some kind of experiment they was doing where motherfucker had 76 fetuses, right? 76 no, dead right. baby fetuses doing some shit, medicine or something they was doing with them, and it wasn't good because they was in court. I, I guarantee right? you it wasn't no fucking demonic or witchcraft. Exactly, right? So I'm telling him, I said, whoever this dude up here testifying, that's, I said, he probably got millions of dollars, right? Mm. And that nigga ain't not said, he said, well, shit, they ain't gonna let a broke person be in control of 76 minutes. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's true. Odd truth. <laughs> right? I'm like, that's true. But I'm like, but the issue with that is, again, you know the person sitting on that stand was white. Mm-hmm. But I so, didn't know it. We, I don't want to get it mistaken. White people are not the enemy, but the enemy is white. Yeah, white. Mm, that's, a, that's why I'm not that's one of those people say, oh, you can never date a white girl. You can never do this. You can never do that. Every white person is not your enemy. They're not. Mm-hmm. But that is the truth. And that's where we all get mixed up at. You know what I'm saying? White people get mixed up because, like, oh, you hate white people. No, I don't. And then black people get mixed up. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's the but truth. Th- that's why I say the white establishment because whenever you say them crackers and stuff, I've found the, the term them crackers to be the police, the, yeah. kind of the judges, no the no prosecutors. Doubt. Like, no listen, man, them crackers My manager that's tried to fire me. <laughs> DCF. <laughs> you know oh, the, the any authority figure that's no trying doubt. to fuck you over I'm, no doubt. I'm, that's, I'm them crackers to that's them crackers so mm-hmm. the white institution is the problem it's just many people are able to benefit off that white institution so therefore yes. white people don't take credit for the institution straight up and every white person is not benefiting from the institution exactly that's why you feel they me? Have their, so that's another the, reason where a regular white person loophole. be like nah that shit ain't true because I would, I would be I'm getting broke. this Oh, that yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that's what they don't understand is that yes, you're not the enemy, but the enemy look very much like you. <laughs> <laughs> he look if closer you to you than your he eyes do to me. Exactly. No bullshit. He look more like you than he do me. But then the enemy look just like me to me as well. Yeah. But the, the black enemy man to... has to worry about black men, black women, white women, and white men. 
Bro, I seen a video on TikTok today where this nigga had a, a, a thing of bleach, and then that nigga said things that I would rather do than date a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> and, then a, and then a black woman do edit it and she was like why do y'all hate us so much and then people started giving answers and I'm not going to even front bro the answers were very stereotypical but they were answers that black women should be evaluating and saying how can we as a whole change this narrative and this is why problems don't get solved because yes. when they turn into cliches and stuff, yes. then it's like, well, this is just something somebody told you to no, no. say. That's and it's not also my the truth. same thing it's yours. where people say, well, I'm not like that. Exactly. I'm not saying that you like that, but the stereotype that people think that you like that is something that collectively y'all should be trying to fix. Just like I'm saying, collectively, you. we should be trying to fix how people view black on black crime and shit like that. And the way that we can change it is by eliminating it. You feel what I'm saying? So, see, so how are you gonna stop black on black crime when you gotta eliminate some motherfuckers, dog? I saw a no. video today of this guy hitting on this girl in the parking lot. And she's like, nah, I'm good. She's like, yeah, let me get your name. She's like, nah, I'm good. She's like, I can't get your number. She's like, nah, I'm good. She's like, uh, what's your, he's like, what's your Twitter, your Snapchat? She's like, nah, I'm good. And he's like, man, come on. I just want to spend some time. Nah, I'm good. The nigga's like, that's your car right there? She's like, yeah, that nigga slammed the fucking uh, <laughs> <laughs> the grocery cart in the girl's fucking car. Boom! I'm talking about dent all on See, the side. And I go, men's going to get the heat for this. But this, I have this to. Like, like if that's if that's my daughter and she say, hey, you 30 seconds away, pull up. I'm going to pull up prepared to kill this nigga. You see what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> bro, I see, I see the funniest thing on TikTok today, man. This uh, nigga just pulled up beside somebody. They had some kind of road, road rage issue. He in the driver's seat. He get out of his car and just start fucking up that nigga rear side mirror, right? <laughs> like, it's his mirror on the right side, he just started fucking that bitch up. And then as he get ready to drive home, the nigga just slap into that nigga. <laughs> and just start pushing him. I'm like, somebody What's in the comments was like, here, man? somebody in the comments was like, you never know, a motherfucker might be crazy into you. And I said, this is why I don't bother people. This like, that why. nigga fucked up my shit, I would be pissed, but if I was like, not gonna kill him, I would just let it rock. Leave it alone. No bullshit. Because uh, unless you've been in a handle, unless you've been to do something, don't do nothing. No doubt. Because, you know, no man, doubt. I've seen a video where this nigga, uh, somebody cut somebody off and he was recording in his car. Next thing, the nigga pulled his strap out. Bop, bop. That nigga bust two shots through his window to try to hit <laughs> the nigga that passed him off. And I'm like, Duh. This all reverts back to the, Jesus got to take some responsibility, bro. <laughs> 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 you done handcrafted oh. some crazy people and put them down here with us, man. If we are all made in your image, then you want crazy nigga, sir. Bro, I grew up in church and they told me that Jesus made us with his hands, bro. I swear that that's what they told me in church. That nigga, that nigga got a fucking uh, cerebral palsy or something. He making some of these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga shaking, man. He making I mean, hey, Jesus, you high? My nigga the last Jesus thought he had 1,500 niggas you just made. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be beneficial to this planet. <laughs> and they thought he had the recipe memorized and shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, nigga, you got to be just... Uh, uh, bop, 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 bow, nigga. Uh, look at him. He looked normal. He looked normal. <laughs> he looked that normal. Run, <laughs> that nigga run fast that. and shit, but he crazy. <laughs> God damn. Oh, and then you sit a crazy nigga down here and then allow him to have a kid and pass his crazy DNA on. It's too hard to be in this world, bro. It's too difficult. Like, no bullshit. That's why I say you got to try to get you some money, man. Money the only thing to bring comfort. Because everything else about being trapped on this earth with these human beings and having to leave it at a random time that you don't know, it's too difficult, bro. Mm. That's why I say we don't get punished when we die. It's too hard to be alive. And none mm. of us has to be alive. Mm. It's too hard. Whatever happened when you die, it happened to everybody, bro. I know, right? The only way we justify it is if, like, you know, them niggas are, give you, a, like, a, a choice. It's like, hey, you finna be born a man on Earth in... nine, A black man on Earth in 1956. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Hey, <laughs> they like me. Oh, you'll be a woman, boy. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> like, hey, nigga, butterfly <laughs> me, nigga. I'll be good as a butterfly for this life. Man, just, just send me wherever you was going to send me, man. I tried my best. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, but no. Being here, not wanting to be here, and not knowing what you're supposed to do when you are here is a recipe for disaster. So. Yeah, it's a recipe for not making the right decision. Like, honestly, bro, I, you, that's why I say even I don't if even you really... fall into the right decision, you don't know if it's the right decision. Nah, I'm Colin not even Kaepernick, really that worried, bro, about Colin death no Kaepernick's more. Kaepernick's parents, real parents, not a, what, not one, what happened with his real parents, do you know? I have no idea. Let's just say, for raw hype purposes, they just left the nigga by a fire station. And then these two white people came, picked him up, scooped him up, and took care of him. Knowing that he was black. <laughs> like, this nigga at least make us some money. Uh, but I'm saying, <laughs> but I'm saying. <laughs> I am not agreeing that Colin Kaepernick's parents ever said, ever said is, that phrase. But this is an example of what some would say, it turned out pretty damn well for Mr. Colin. Right. Is his parents to blame? Because I don't think they would have been able to provide him with what he ended up being. So That's did they game, not bro. do the right thing by putting him on that uh, fire station? Or did they do the wrong thing by giving away a nigga with millions of dollars? So <laughs> So that's my point. Who are even we to if know, we man? fall into a right decision, was it even the right decision? Remember when I told you that I've learned so much about women that I no longer know what to do with about it, oh, that's a like or with phrase. them, right? That's how I've gotten with life. Hmm. Like I've gotten to the point where I've learned so much and I've experienced so much that I'm even more sure that we have no idea what the fuck we supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah. like, no I'm super clue. sure. We have no idea. We have like no we, clue. We sit, we sit in our house talking to each other on electronic for a <laughs> podcast. Like, what? For other people to go listen and watch. Right. Like, the first uh, niggas on Earth huh? had no... There was no way they could have done this. Them like, 50 years ago... Sprint. 50 years ago, we doing something that wasn't even possible. And we're going to get held to the same standard and we got different lives. Mm. We're going to burn in the same hell as somebody else. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, hey, nigga, how you get in, man? I was... uh. Cybering on the internet, nigga caught me and I just killed myself before they came. Oh, like for real? Well, I was, I was, <laughs> I was trying to build a railroad, nigga. <laughs> it's like this can't be on the same line as yeah, shit, the yo. same line of shit. It doesn't matter. Like I could go that's and a, see a TikTok. A bar, I could go see a TikTok to change my mind on how I view whatever I'm supposed to be doing to get to where I need to go. And I see the TikTok and I say, all right, Jesus, it's on you now, baby. And then I die. And then it's like, well, good thing I seen that TikTok. Jesus got me right. But somebody that died 50 years ago didn't even have that opportunity. <laughs> so so you feel what I'm saying? How about how many people knock on your door and say, hey, have you given your life to Jesus? It don't work faster than TikTok did. Mm. I can see a hundred videos about Jesus in the next hour, and that was not possible fifty years ago. And you did yeah. not have the same opportunity. So how are we gonna all go to the, to the same punishment? It don't make sense. It's the same as the school, like we said, man. They still teach shit we've already debunked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, nigga, why is this still in the curriculum? No bullshit. Miss Buster said that this is not true. <laughs> yep, but it's because, like I said, bro, that shit is to teach you to go to wake up every day and go do what somebody tell you to do yep. for eight hours. Teach your ass to, and that's the demonic shit. They talking about fucking Travis Scott and the fuck. Right. That's the demonic, the demonic shit. Niggas is the McDonald's. <laughs> These <laughs> niggas serving death Everybody through a drive through. <laughs> we got another one. <laughs> but then they, they serve a motherfucking cheap death through a drive through Ooh. to people, and they got people serving it to you that they don't pay to be there all day. Like, that's the most so demonic they, shit. They, help, they helping with the death. It's like, I'm exactly. giving you this death, and if it drops on the floor, I'm still finna feed it to you. <laughs> because they don't pay me enough to give a fuck about this falling on the floor or not. Nigga, I went to, I don't know if we could talk about this establishment, because I don't, eh, shit, let's go viral. I was at Popeye's the other day for uh -huh. my lady, and I got, to the, it, I got to the window, and there was this worker in there. Everybody else had on mask and shit. She ain't had on shit. She uh -huh. gets to the window to take my order. Her mouth smells like liquor, and her body smells <laughs> like weed. <laughs> Needless to say, she gave me the wrong meal. <laughs> that bitch smell like she at home. <laughs> that motherfucker 
to sound like happy hour in that motherfucker. Like, nigga, this, you need to do this shit at home. This young lady did one of these numbers, nigga. After I got my food, she gave me the shit. I looked to see that it's wrong. I was about to ask for my sauce because the lady always, my lady always wants this sauce. But I saw that the hottie sauce, bro, from Megan Stan Stallion. Is that Popeyes? Yeah, they got hottie oh, sauce, no, well, bro. It's the whatever the hot, the hot sweet, the sweet hot sweet heat. Oh, oh, that sweet ain't the Megan Stan uh, shit. I go and then I see I got a bunch more than what I ordered, and I'm thinking. Do I risk it and get the sauce, or do I just leave? You ride the, out, bro. The lady at the window did. Ah, right, you have a good day now. Oh, bro. And then turned around and grabbed the other bag, and I was like, I'm glad I'm not eating this shit or that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm... Nah, I'm why, this story disgusts me, bro. I don't even appreciate hearing it. But bro. listen, man, what I said in that moment is, I see they don't pay people to even care about what they're doing. Oh, they can't. Bruh, I seen um, a video the other day that was saying how uh, how they get black people to promote food to kill other black people. Like, they had the Sweetie Meal, the mm -hmm. Megan Thee Stallion hottie, mm -hmm. uh, hottie sauce, and then Mary J. Blige and Jerry Rice. And I was like, man... Like you that never shit. see Justin Timberlake selling No, but my whole three point is how don't nobody like have no videos about how that's demonic? Like you you like the Travis Scott shit is indirectly mm. if nothing else. Y'all niggas directly killing people. And y'all know y'all is. For money, shit, bro. Nigga, I saw that Parmesan cheese the other day is like a few percentages away from being <laughs> sawed <up. laughs> Like, these niggas got top billing on the shelf in the grocery store. <laughs> that shit's an like, eye for real. Deal. For real, it shouldn't be up to me to know people. to know that I shouldn't be eating this. I shouldn't need to know that. I'm sorry. Y'all make too much money. To make it. <laughs> exactly. Why is it up to me to know that I shouldn't eat this when I trusted you? Somebody said the other day. Uh, like dead ass, bro. Somebody else said the other day that uh, the vaccine is uh, is not FDA approved. And then the person responded and said, well, cigarettes are FDA approved. What the fuck does that mean? And I said, uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cigarettes are FDA approved to say, hey, nigga, we finna kill the shit out of you. Nobody cares, bro. Man. And honestly, yeah, we live in a life where everybody here trying to kill us. And again, y'all think that I think that I'm that I'm right, and I'm gonna get punished when I die. <laughs> Come on, man, that don't make no sense. Bro. How you die? Well, uh, Walmart and them was running a bunch of diesel fuel trucks back and forth, <laughs> and I kept breathing in the exhaust, caught lung cancer, and now I'm here. Right. It's right. like, oh, you should have been born in that. In 1900 or something. <laughs> You'd have been I'm going to go to the same hell as the nigga that killed me. <laughs> While he was on what, earth what with you did? Well, nigga, I was driving Walmart trucks back and forth. <laughs> but the, the Walmart niggas get millions of dollars, get to live a lavish life, and then we go to the same hell. It's like, shit, I want to live a lavish life, too, if I got to go to the same hell. How fair you know, is that to me? make my hell a little bit more popping than his. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so that's oh, the kind of shit oh, I be on, You bro. in that hell, nigga, you must have been balling on earth. <laughs> <laughs> you must have been. All the money, all the bitches. You must have invented the sweetie meal. But <laughs> that's what I be saying, man. Like, on some all jokes aside shit, it's like, man, we put on earth. Earth is already hell, man. Big talk. Before we get up out of here, man, let's talk about your boy, man. Why you don't Ooh. like Kanye West, nigga? Kanye is honestly one of those people, bro, that thinks he's somebody that he's not. And the only thing that he has to validate it, which is the greatest validator of them all, <laughs> is money. It's some you feel me? Oh. <laughs> but, but he just says things that, that are just ridiculous. That nigga thinks he's Disney, nigga. That nigga thinks he's Walt Disney. So when you said what you said, I go, okay. He's like, yeah, nigga. I'm like Walt Disney. I'm like, I'm like Tesla. I'm like Steve Jobs, baby. No, I seen somebody say like Kanye is so smart and he always know what he's talking about and he always this and he always this he's just cocky and I'm like if you cocky you don't have a mind to comprehend things as complex as he think he comprehended because you can't be a critical thinker if you can't view yourself in the mirror. Mm. But that doesn't stop you from being cocky though. That you cocky doesn't stop you from seeing yourself correctly. Cocky if is just if, what you portray. 
So you can portray that because you know you're dope, or you can portray that in hopes to becoming dope. But if you can you know, you don't have dope. to be cocky to know you dope. Cocky yeah. is is like narcissism. It's a way of not being in touch with reality. This is what I'm saying. It doesn't to the point where you can say things. That. It does to me. That's my definition of it. Why I say that is because you can be fully aware but still project something else. So you're saying that his cockiness isn't real? Exactly. It could be a defense mechanism. Okay, but even if it's a defense mechanism, you're not in tune with reality if you're out being somebody else every day. You you can't be a critical Most thinker if you wake up and go... someone else every day. Yes, and those are people... <laughs> And those are people that are not as deep as they think they are. They're not as in tune with things as they think they are. You can't get up every day and you can't be if you can't be like in your true skin and your true reality. Like Kanye, for example. He's heavy on this Jesus kick, and then he goes and hangs out with rappers and he cussing and drinking and smoking. You feel me? So it's like your whole album don't have no cussing on it because you want to portray something. But then you go on Drink Champs, and you're the exact opposite of that. And I don't have a problem with it. Make your art how you want to make your art. But you're literally telling me you're two completely different people. And then you want me to value the things that you say when you're not even living in your own truth. Mm, okay. I saw. I feel like that. what you just said was not what you said earlier. Because I really like what you just said just now. <laughs> that Respect. one is the truth. It's like, yeah. you can, how you just said that, I feel like it's how you thought you said the one before. Well, I'm pretty much saying, you said this, I said this. If you didn't get what I was saying, then I elaborate. So, it's you feel me? It's just, that's where I was trying to go, is my point. I, I elaborate. But, yeah, that's so, what I feel. I, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Only and because, when, man. Go ahead. And when I hear him speak, he validates me feeling that way. And and I think that's what I was about to say. It's like I'm just not interested in this roller coaster you're trying to put no, people on. No. Like one no. day you're this way, the next day you're that way. Right. And then you try to make me believe you're that way. Then people are hoping you can be the old way again. And it, it, it's too much. Like of his a reason coaster. for having a problem with Big Sean. Like, because he said something negative about me when everyone was saying something negative about me. Now it was he didn't support his presidential campaign. I thought it was. Well, no, because he said when somebody did an interview or something and they asked him a question and he said something, him and John Legend replied in negative ways that he didn't like. So now he don't. I think they him. said they would not vote for him. I don't even know what they said, but that's my point. It's yeah. like, man, you hate me forever because I didn't agree with something while you were wilding out. <clears throat> but it just be that shit where it's like you think everybody owe you something. You know what I'm saying? Like he talked like, oh, they wouldn't let me do this and they wouldn't let me do this and oh, I had this going and they didn't do this. Like he think he right for like what he did to like Taylor Swift and shit. Like he think he right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that kind of shit. It's like you think that you above everything and everybody and you like you are like such oh, a nigga, genius he, he that everybody Jesus needs to follow walks, to. Nigga. He made Jesus walks. Never and that's fine, that. bro, but I'm not finna <laughs> worship these niggas and act like they something that they not, no, man. Because that's what we leave it on. Not, that I'm was what we were supposed to get on. Celebrity worship. Mm -hmm. That is the that's why a nigga like Trump was the president. Oh, for sure. So my biggest issue with people and trying to solve certain problems is I always say things like cause and effect. Like, mm -hmm. if you don't solve the root of the problem, then you're essentially just covering it up. You, that agree. problem is going to persist. So when you have people worshiping celebrities and they're looking to celebrities to be the, the, the voice and the guiding light and the fixers and all these things, you're giving people power and you're giving them uh, 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 power that they shouldn't have. And then yes. you're picking and choosing who you want to hold to that same account. The, to that power, it's like, oh, well, we gave you, like Marilyn Monroe or something. Mm -hmm. She's a bitch that fucked a popular person, but now she's a status symbol of mm -hmm. like this, uh, what's the fucking word, man? She's a status symbol of like this woman who 
owns her sexuality and she can this and she can that and she can that. It's like, man, she's just a regular motherfucker. Why are you not praising a woman like Ava DuVernay or something who's actually who using... That's the that's the lady who actually did the Colin Kaepernick show. And oh, okay. she's yes, the one yes, that yes, did yes. Th- the 13th Amendment mm-hmm. and she did... Oh, can I tell you one more thing I didn't like about Cotton Guy's shit? Go ahead. And this will be my final thing on another thing I didn't like. Is that how so many people spoke out and said... I just saw you, and you didn't say none of this to me. Or how yeah, Soldier Boy Johnson. said, you texted me and told me that the verse was hard. It was great. Mm-hmm. He's a people pleaser. I don't like that kind of shit. And I don't then like again, that kind of people. I can't. I can't think that you're some genius when you move like this. You can't. He's not real. Exactly. So I don't treasure the nothing that he He's Walt Disney. <laughs> but yeah. no, it's that same type of mentality, though, man. It's this. But again, I. He's doing that to try to make the people who support him feel better about supporting him. Yeah, because people legitimately be him. like, y'all don't be seeing what Ye's saying. Like, it be going over y'all head. Y'all don't get it. Like, Ye a genius. And I'm like, all right, But it, that's that people pleasing shit. You have a motherfucker <coughs> who will say something because you're in the room. And then when you leave the room, they'll say something else because a different motherfucker's yes. in the room. Yes. And that's like, what people If are you promoting. watch Kanye West for two hours and 24 minutes, he will definitely say things that are profound. He will say mm. things that are real. He will mm. say things that are smart. He will. But he will show you how he is and who he is before it's over with. And I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I'm just saying that he think differently than me, so he doesn't entertain me, particularly because his music isn't good anymore. And I mainly only care about him as a rapper. Like, I don't care about him as, a, you know, anything else. Like, I would have probably voted for him, though, to be honest with you, because I would have thought it was, like, hilarious. Because, hilarious? You know, I was about to say, look at this Because shit. he's on the ballot, you know? So, like, if he's on the ballot, I'm, yeah, we're going to vote for him. Duh. But, um, you know, I don't know much about Ye. People yeah, worshiping celebrities is one of the backbones of the problems that we're having today. Yes. People, worship People celebrities. are dying from those McDonald's because sweetie's sexy yeah. ass is telling them to get her meal. Then they're having her show up at certain locations, so now a motherfucker is going to go in hopes that they may see sweetie at their location. And then you have Megan was like, damn, sweetie making all this coin? Well, I can shake my ass with some three-piece hot wings. So now Howdy she's sauce. sending y'all niggas over. That's my, uh, that's my telegram display sauce. picture. My telegram this way. It meant that for like a week or two. Because I, I just couldn't believe it. I'm yeah. tired of you. That this nigga changes shit to like. The other day you had like a white family or a white kid on there or some shit. It's possible. I'm over here drinking box Man. water right now because I learned that bottled water is killing you. Kill you. <laughs> I'm over here drinking me a nice, good, healthy, smooth. And nigga, blueberries and spinach and shit. Fuck with me. Before we anyway, go, man. I do want to tell this story. Go ahead. I recently went to a Chelsea Handler comedy show. (laughs) I went to this Chelsea Handler comedy show because since the pandemic, me and my lady has barely been out and about, you know, trying to protect ourselves from the virus that's going on. It's still out there, people. But she was here. We were supposed to go to her maybe two years ago, right before the pandemic. So when it popped up again, I said, oh, I surprised my lady. I surprised yeah, her. Asked. She was ecstatic. Well, no, I checked that first. I said, hey, y'all let niggas in. I said, wait a minute, it's Florida. All right, just, appreciate all y'all. I'll see y'all next week. Just say what Aaron <laughs> Rodgers said. Yeah, I'm, I'm immunized. That <laughs> 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 nigga Aaron Rodgers that used a different word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> I like anyway, that. Anyway, go, go. But uh, no. <laughs> just another so, episode, I'll be immunized. That's what I'm about to say. I was going to put it in there. If you die. Uh, no, right? So, we go, in, we go to the show. We get to the show. We sit at the show. The show starts. And the first person on there... Let me say this first, and then I'll finish real fast. I didn't laugh or smile once. <laughs> not for the opener, not for nobody. Not for nothing that happened. Actually, I did smile and laugh for one thing that happened. 
there was male bashing the entire time, of course, because it's just white women in there talking about mate fucking men and patriarchy and all this extra shit. And this one comedian lady was doing this thing, which made so much sense how she was doing it, but she was flipping it into talking shit about men. And right mm-hmm. when it was about to hit the punchline, her mic cut out. So she's up there, and she's like, oh, 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 and nobody can hear her. And then a lady came out with a mic, and then the mic wasn't working. And then a man with a fucking suit and a vest and everything came out, gave her the mic. And she's like, oh, oh, this one works. And I sat in my seat, and I said to myself, exactly, bitch. I would have cheered, bro. I would have cheered. I would have cheered. Nigga, it was nothing but white women in that motherfucker. Yeah, I would have been like, let's go. Nigga, it was... (laughs) But my point is, like, you shitting on men the whole time, and then it took a man to fix your problem. Right? But anyway, I said all that to say, man, these people, it was nothing but male bashing in there, but it was so poorly done that I man, It would have been cool to be there to listen to, like, write a retort to it. Hmm. Uh, you, yeah, she do her show and right when her show done, I come up and I do my show. I right, yeah. let me tell you why all that was bullshit. That's what <laughs> I'm no. saying. That would be hard. What, what I was talking about mostly though, it's the integrity of the comedy. Almost uh-huh. these people were laughing at such low bullshit laughs that I go, they're not even respecting y'all's humor. They're just saying shit that y'all gonna agree with. There was a girl behind us who was like, Chelsea, you're a fucking genius. And I'm like, what? She talking about how <laughs> she fucking left her dog at a fucking hotel because she didn't like the dog anymore. The dog came out of the fucking car and she didn't know where he was. And she was like, good, the nigga's gone. I'm finna get in my car and leave. And then when she get home, the fucking hotel called her and said, hey, your fucking dog's here. She's a genius. Like, that's what you <laughs> shout out. She's a genius. <laughs> So my point was like... Uh, you really get canceled, man. Nigga. It, it felt like what people say is like an echo chamber. So it's like a bunch of other people in here already agree with anything you could possibly say. So it literally doesn't matter what you say. They're going to agree with it. I was offended of how terrible that fucking show was, yo. And then man. after spending all that time talking shit about men, at the end, she brought out her man, which is Joe Coy, which is another uh, comedian. And then they spent time... Acting as if they're freestyling a conversation that I'm pretty sure they do at the end of every fucking show about how great of a man he is. So you just hype these bitches up about men ain't shit. You don't worry about them. But at the end, you got you a great man. (laughs) So it's like, man, hey, ladies, open your eyes, ladies. (laughs) You're not going to talk about the ladies, bro. Not today. They got Beyonce told them... Beyonce was telling these bitches, fuck niggas, niggas ain't shit while she hubbed up and have a man. It's just like, the people that they're listening to that are shitting on men have men. Nicki Minaj has been in a relationship since day one. I don't know if she shits on men, though. All the time. (laughs) But I was about to say, all of them do. Yeah. Which I don't get. But Nicki is dope to me. I love Nicki Minaj. Mm. But she definitely be shitting on niggas and act like, like, She'll fuck with bitches and shit. She don't be fucking no bitches. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> up, you bro? Don't, don't be fucking no bitches, bro. I can just tell, bro. I turned my lady on because she was when I, I turned her on to Chelsea Handler. I'm talking years ago when she used to do this. I show think she's on funny. Game. She's funny, but she wasn't really talking about her life, which is the funny part. She was just trying to tell certain jokes about her life, man. It was not funny at all. I'm, but I, I, this is what I'm saying. I'm not some asshole who's like, yeah, it's a woman. I'm not going to laugh. I turned my lady on to Chelsea years ago. So I was, I picked it on some, well, at least I know I'll be entertained. Right. And it was nothing in there, man. I'm talking, she's in there talking shit about Trump. All the, anything you think she would talk about to make women celebrate is the only thing she talked about and the women celebrated. So she knows the like, audience, man. But so that's my problem is not Chelsea, it's the fucking audience. People yeah, demand I agree. more, man. It's like But that's because the people there worship her, man. That was what I was gonna close with. Thanks for stealing it. My closing is they didn't care what she had to do. They was there worshiping 
who her celebrity. I've mm -hmm. known her for years. I've bought her books. I know everything about her. Let me worship her. She's a queen. I love her. Yeah. You're great. You if can your no stand-up isn't funny, you really let us down because comedians are way funnier in person. Yes. So if you, you have You can see a nigga you never heard money. of. You can see a nigga you never heard of in person that will have you cracking up. Now, if you see him on Netflix, you would be like, this nigga's not funny. It happens too often. Yeah. I, I laugh 90% of the comedians that I see in person. And the yeah, ones that I don't laugh I at, you I'm damn near pissed. Uh -huh. It's why I'm pissed, nigga. I came to uh -huh. laugh. I yeah. mean, she does enough type of comedy and the kind of yeah. comedy that I would laugh at. I like when we went and seen uh, when we went and seen Dave Chappelle in person, he was hilarious. Come on now, uh, uh, I Andrew never did too Donnell good. Rollins was funny, right? Same. But I saw him open for Dave Chappelle, and I got damn this nigga is fucking hilarious. Man, that's dope. So yeah, man. That's dope. So, hey, I, anyway, I just didn't man. appreciate that shit, man. Shout, Shout out, out to Chelsea Handler, Donnell Rollins, Chelsea Handler, Dave, Chappelle, Dave Chappelle, Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> uh, Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Ava DuVernay. Uh, the All baby. Right, these are the people that was lost in the tragedy. R.I.P., man. Why was we gotta a fix this world, a 10 year old man. at a fucking festival that has moshing and drugs? And why the was there issue... a nigga picking, pricking niggas in their neck <laughs> with drugs, yo? They say he pricked the cop. The cop. <laughs> the security the people. <laughs> when he woke up, we saw he had, like, what's what is up going with on? people? Like, we live in a day and age, bro, where it's Cars, unacceptable. That's not demonic. He's yeah, it's demonic unacceptable that people can't go to shit, man. You can't do shit. One of the biggest fears in going to shit is somebody might use this as a moment to do some shit. Shoot some oh, shit. Oh, for sure. Some shit, oh, it's the, some shit. it's the number one reason that I don't go to shit. <laughs> like, I was like, yo, if I went to go see, like, Drake, if I went to Orlando and see Drake, Drake will be performing where the Orlando Magic play. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I would feel better there. You feel what I'm saying? That's, That's where he would be performing. All right, man. Shout out to Raw Hypers, man. You got anything you want to spit for, man? Oh, hell no, no, no I'm just man. bullshit. I'm just bullshit, yeah. No, man, um, but I'm I appreciate depressed, the Raw man. Hypers, man. We remote. Hopefully, we back in the spot sooner than later. TheRawHype.com. Go cop some merch. I got some new limited edition shit on the Patreon. Backslash, back, low Raw Hype. Come fuck with us. Oh, this episode was supposed to be called um, According to the Internet, which if you're a raw hyper, you know that that's a segment that we keep flirting with and never release. But I think now that we finally got another remote out and we know what we're doing, then we're going to implement this as a Patreon exclusive According to the Internet. Fuck with me, baby. It's your boy, Rebel. It's that's my dog, did, Black uh... Rebel. Bankhead bounce, you feel me? Uh, and this a... was oh, how did we used to end that shit? And uh, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the raw hype. Raw hype. I, 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 I. I don't know how you raw hype, but we raw hype responsibly. Ooh.